Hi everyone, welcome to another video and today's topic is going to be about whether or not I think the iPad Pro has become obsolete due to working from home and COVID. One of the iPad's greatest strengths is its portability, so has staying at home affected it? Absolutely not. I still use my iPad Pro daily for work. That includes sketching, marking up drawings, reviewing drawings, or taking drawings with me digitally to construction sites. I have the iPad next to me all the time when I'm working. It's really good for taking notes, you know, quick doodles, quick sketches, and some quick fag packet calculations as well. It is amazing how many times during a day that you'll need to do this. You can't rely on just taking notes um, on computer, typing text. You really do need to sketch quick doodles just to get your idea across and, and think about the problems you know sketches can be just really really rough and ready but being able to draw them allows you to see the problem in its drawing self rather than just thinking about it in your head if i get caught on the phone and i don't have time to put in my airpods then i'll be using my ipad to take notes because it's just so much easier to take notes um, like you would in a normal physical notebook than it is to type out the notes. I mean, sometimes on the phone call, you'll need to do a quick sketch just to sort of understand what they're talking about on the phone. Or if you need to explain something, you might just need to do a quick scribble and then you can try and explain it over the phone. I mentioned earlier that it's so easy to put a bunch of drawings onto your iPad and take that to, to a site or to a meeting. And now with all the working from home and the COVID, I don't have time to go to the office and make a diversion just to print off a set of drawings. I'd literally just PDF all the drawings I need, chuck them on my iPad, get it stored locally, and then when I'm on site, I can bang it up and it's just, you know, people will crowd around me just to see these drawings on my iPad. I've had to take my work office PC home with me because I didn't want to install all the engineering software onto my own personal computer. But uh, what we did provide us is you know, a mic and webcam. So what I use my iPad with is all my video calls are done from that. So Zoom and team meetings predominantly are all done through my iPad. When I'm taking notes from a video call, I'll generally be using um, Notion as my go-to app for taking notes for meetings, as it's really easy to sort of categorize um, my notes and put them in the right project folders. When I'm on video calls, it's so obvious that the iPad camera is just so much better than normal people's like laptops and PCs. It's just light and day, the clarity. Um, also, I don't need to plug in an external mic. The, the mic from the I iPad is very good and it's pretty really clear. I've never had any drop calls or people not being able to hear me. It's normally a fault on their end and not mine. So getting away from sort of professional workflow, I write all my YouTube scripts in Notion and I can do it from my iPad. And this brings back the the main strength of the iPad is its um, portability. I can just take my iPad with me throughout the house and I can just continue working. So if I'm cooking or waiting for stuff to cook, I can just quickly type out a script in five, 10 minutes or just continue to work on other stuff without having to be sat down at my desk. But iPad is still a great multimedia machine and it's got great speakers, it's got a good, good quality screen. So, you know, it's so diverse. And, you know, it's, people might ask, why don't you just buy a laptop? But a laptop, you can't write on the screen. Well, not a Mac laptop anyway. And the iPad is just so good in that respect because you can just do all these other things with it. I've ordered a, one of the new M1 Mac Minis and I'm so excited for it to arrive. It's not gonna come until the end of the month, unfortunately, but I'm really looking forward to going back back to Mac OS because um, before I did have an iMac, built my own Windows PC, so left Mac OS, which I really regret. Um, so I'm really looking forward to going back to Mac OS and seeing what kind of um, interactions I can now have with my iPad, iPhone with Mac OS now. So in this day and age with COVID and working from home, is the iPad a necessity? It's not a necessity, but I think it's a great tool to help you with your workflow. Do you necessarily need an iPad Pro? No, you don't. I think a couple of months ago, they announced the iPad Air, 
and that has pretty much all the functionalities of the iPad Pro. You can buy the, the Magic um, keyboard with it, you can use the second gen pencil with it, and it looks pretty much exactly the same. I think the only major two differences were Face ID and the 120 hertz screen. And to be honest, I can't really tell the difference unless you look at it side by side. Um, the iPad Air is probably a couple of hundred quid cheaper as well. So if that's a major limiting factor for you not to buy an iPad, then I think the iPad Air is a very compelling option. And if you don't want to fork out the money for an iPad Air either, there is even a lower tier iPad, which you can use for sketching. Um, it does use the first gen Apple Pencil, which definitely isn't as good, but it comes in at a much more affordable price. I think that if you can take advantage of the strengths of an iPad Pro or an iPad Air or even a normal iPad, I think it's a really, really worthwhile investment. Apple products tend to hold their value really well. So three, four years down the line, um, once you've, you, you, know, you want to upgrade, that, that product will still be able to sell for pretty good value. Okay, that wraps the video up. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe as it really helps give me confidence to keep making videos. Okay, see you next time.